Hi everybody, welcome to Amy Nolte Music. Today's video is about how to memorize lyrics. When I was about 12 years old, my parents ordered these audio tapes from TV about how to improve your memory. They made me sit down with them and listen to the very first one. The man on the tape read a list of 25 objects and then he told us that at the end of the lesson we'd be able to remember all 25 in order. The trick that he taught in that lesson has stayed with me my whole life and been a valuable tool for me whenever I have to memorize long things. Now, sometimes at my gigs, people request this song, Las Aguas de Marzo, or The Waters of March. A stick, a stone, it's the end of the road. It's the rest of a stump, it's a little alone. Stick around to the end of the video because I have an extra challenge for any animators, bassist, guitarist, drummers that would like to help me make a music video about this song. So stick around till the last couple of minutes and if you're interested, you can help me make a music video for Aguas de Marzo. I've got the lyrics right here on my phone. I'm gonna learn them at the same time you're gonna learn them. I swear I don't know them yet. <laughs> uh, but I have a lot of faith. I have a lot of faith in this method. It's helped me. Um, it's helped me to learn. It's helped me to learn lyrics over the years. I remember once I had to learn the lyrics to "Black Dog" by Led Zeppelin, and that was really hard for me. But this method made it work, and it sticks to this day, which is a really cool thing. It also has helped me in countless road trip games of Mrs. So and So went on a trip, and in her suitcase she packed. Have you ever played that game? And then everybody lists something that she packed in her suitcase. My kids and husband and I always play this game. Anyway. It's helped me in that game too. I'm always the winner. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's gonna get weird. It's gonna get a little trippy. You're gonna think I'm nuts. I'm, I'm a little nuts, but I'm not totally nuts. You've gotta trust me with this. You gotta do a lot of closing your eyes and thinking about everything that I'm talking about. It's, uh, it's not a self-help video. It might seem like it just a tiny bit. All right, so here we go. The first words of the song. A stick, a stone, it's the end of the road. Here's what we're gonna do. Every now and then I'm gonna ask you to close your eyes and envision something. So you do this with me now and I swear, go on this journey with me. You're gonna be happy you did. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're going to imagine that in our right hand, I'll reverse it for you. In our right hand, we've got a stick. I want you to kind of feel the stick. In the right, and in the left hand, you've got a stone, all right? So both of those things, you kind of feel them in your hand. And I want you to imagine that you're at the end of a paved road, like just that a, a two-lane highway ends. And at the end of it is like a um, one of those construction berms, you know, like a cement blockade. And so it's the end of the road, right? Okay. So you're standing there, you're looking at the end of the road. A stick, a stone, it's the end of the road. Then, right in front of that cement thing, you see a stump. It's a low stump. Because the next lyric is, it's the rest of the stump. All right? So we've got a stick, a stone, it's the end of the road. I want you to imagine that you actually pick up the stick and stone and throw them at the stump, all right? So you see the stick in the stone, hit the stump, and then you're sorry for the stump because the next lyric is, it's a little alone, the stump is a little alone. So what do you do when somebody's alone? You give it a hug. You're gonna reach out, you're gonna hug the stump, all right? As you hug the stump, so you're down on your knees, you're hugging the stump, you get, ah, something sticks you in your arm. It's a sliver of glass. That's the next lyric, all right? It sticks you in your arm, you pull it out, and you think to yourself, oh, that's life, right? Sometimes you, you get a, a sliver of glass in your left bicep, your right bicep, and, uh, and you pull it out and you think this is, all right, that, that's life. All right, so, so far, I pull out my phone to check and make sure that we're doing it just right. A stick, a stone, it's the end of the road, it's the rest of a stump, it's a little alone. It's a sliver of glass. It is life. That's why I said we, we, we think uh, that's life. All right, then 
We pull it out, we look at it, and the sun catches it. It's got a beam of light shining from it. It's the sun, is the lyric. But all of a sudden, it turns black. Everything, tur everything turns black all around you. It is night. You take your sliver of glass, you shove it in your heart. It is death. As you shove the sliver of glass into your heart, you realize that your feet are caught in a hunter's trap. You look down at your feet and there's a gun, a pistol, laying on the ground right next to you. All right, so this is how it goes so far. A stick, a stone, it's the end of the road. It's the rest of a stump, it's a little alone. It's a sliver of glass, it is life, it's the sun. It is night, it is death, it's a trap, it's a gun. With me so far? There's a lot of it's the and it's a. Uh. Those are things that you're going to have to listen to the song a whole bunch to be able to have sink in. Like when I sing it, I don't, I don't necessarily think of all those little words because I've heard the song a lot. It just kind of comes. So with all of this memorization, you have to be listening to the song a lot too for it to sink in. But here we go, right? We keep going right here. We look down, we see the gun. We pick up the gun. We, we look out. We look out to our right and we see an oak tree. We shoot the oak tree with our gun. As we shoot the oak tree, close your eyes. Imagine the oak tree all of a sudden blooming with pink blossoms that all just fall to the ground. It's like a, the blooms just keep on going until they're at the ground. At the ground, there's a fox. You see the fox right in front of all of these blooms or blossoms, but the fox is standing in a paintbrush like that you might paint with, right? He's standing at the base of a paintbrush. So the stick is in the air, the brush is at the ground, and the fox is standing in that paintbrush. You reach out, you grab the paintbrush, you look at the stump right in front of you. There's a knot in the wood and you decide to paint on it with your paintbrush, a little bird that sings. That's the song of a thrush. I'm gonna tell you how the lyric goes now. The oak when it blooms, the fox in the brush, a knot in the wood, the song of a thrush. Cool, right? Okay, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna quiz you. Here we go. What are these? A stick, a stone, it's the End of the road, it's the, what do you see now? The rest of a stump, you're sorry for it? That's right, it's a little alone. It's a sliver of glass. <clears throat> it is life. It's the sun. It is night. It is death. Look down. It's a trap, it's a gun. The oak when it blooms, the fox in the brush, a knot in the wood, the song of a thrush. Are you with me so far? Kind of crazy, right? If you have seen all of this stuff in your head up to this point, you've got a very clear picture of everything happens and not just seeing it, but feeling it. That's why we pretend to have a stick and a stone in our hands. That's why we hug the thing. It, you know, we feel it as well. We're seeing things, we're feeling things. We, I think we, we haven't smelled or tasted anything yet. That, that's, a, that's a whole other level. I don't know if I'm qualified to teach at that level. So you're with me that far, right? Okay, good, good, good. We're gonna keep going. Now, here's one thing. We can't do the whole song. It's a huge, huge song. So. I'm just gonna get you going. We're gonna, we're gonna do the next little bit and we're gonna remember it all together. And then you can do the rest on your own. Now, I know that one option for this video would have been for me to actually make a music video, like to have somebody animate it and, and to have all of this occurring as you're seeing it so that, so that you don't have to imagine it. You, you've got a, a picture, but it doesn't work. Have you ever watched a music video for a song and then for the rest of your life, you just see that video in your head and it's there and you'll never get it out. 
I'm sure you know how it is. You see, uh, you, hello Mickey, you're so fine, you're so fine, you blow my mind. And every time you see that cheerleader in the red, white, and blue, whatever you see, an image, like a, an idea of how it looks is gonna stay with you forever. But I don't remember every detail of that video as the music passes. I need you guys to have your own picture in your own mind of what all of this looks like. And I need you to feel it for yourselves in order for it to stay with you. All right, so I'm not gonna show you one, but maybe in the end, I hope, I hope we can come up with something really cool and kind of trippy uh, in the end, and, and then I'll have a music video for you where I actually sing it, and there are instruments playing with me, people that write to me from YouTube, so that's, that'll be cool, and hopefully somebody that animates. If nobody animates, I'll probably just have one picture that shows the whole time. Yeah, we'll see about that. Let's keep going. Okay, the next line is the wood of the wind. Now that's a weird line, the wood of the wind, but we were just drawing or painting on the knot of the wood, right? And we, the song of the thrush, the song of a thrush, right? So now we imagine that that knot in the wood with the picture of the bird on it gets picked up by the wind, all right? The wood of the wind and taken away blown about somewhere over here where it lands on a cliff. That's the next thing, a cliff, all right? It blows right to the end of the cliff, right to the edge, and it falls. A fall is the next word. All of a sudden, I fly down to the bottom of the cliff. The knot of wood hits me when it falls. It comes all the way down, boom, scratches me right on my arm. That's all it does is just a scratch, just barely hits it, a scratch. So I look down at it, and I see the scratch, but all of a sudden the scratch grows into a lump. All right, a scratch, a lump. And I think to myself, it is nothing at all. Who cares? Who cares, I got a stinking scratch and a lump from a piece of wood with a thrush on it that fell from a cliff and knocked me in my arm. It is nothing at all. <laughs> when you shake it off and you say it is nothing at all, you're gonna throw your arms up to the side. And you're gonna, it is nothing at all. And all of a sudden, it's the wind blowing free. You're gusted up in the wind. You're taken up into the sky to the top of a slope. It's the end of a slope is the line. And to me, what comes to my mind when I hear the word slope is geometry. So all of a sudden I'm taken out of this uh, wilderness area that we've been involved in. And I'm on like a grid, right? Like a piece of graph paper and there's a slope. I'm at the end of it, I'm right at the top, all right? Craziness. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back to the oak. The oak when it blooms, the fox in the brush, a knot in the wood, the song of a thrush. The wood in the wind, right? What happens then? The knot gets taken away by the wind, right? It gets blown to the edge of a cliff. So a cliff, a fall, a scratch, a lump. It is nothing at all. And all of a sudden I'm taken away to the graph paper, right? right? But, but let's not forget, it's, it's the wind blowing free. It's the end of a slope. All right, that's, that's what the words are right there. All right, so a scratch, a lump, it is nothing at all. The wind blowing free, it's the end of a slope. With me? Next thing, I'm standing at the end of this geometry slope, right, right up at the top of it. And all of a sudden there's a beam of light that shines on me. It's a beam, but I fall. Like the beam hits me and I fall. I fall backwards into nothing. There's nothing at the bottom of this graph paper. It's like a black hole. I fall into this blackness of nothing because it's a void. Next thing is in, it's a hunch. It's a hope. So that's a little bit harder because that's a feeling inside. But I'm going to imagine that as I fall, I start to hunch, all right? I, I hunch my back up. It's a hunch. And then I hope that I'm not gonna die. It's a hope, all right? So there we are. Let's go over that last little part. It's the wind blowing free. It's the end of a slope. It's a beam. It's a void. It's a hunch. It's a hope. Got it? Awesome. And then this little chorus line, not a, cho not a chorus line, but, but the line of kind of what is the chorus of the song happens. And the riverbank talks of the waters of March. It's the end of a strain. It's the joy in your heart. So, so when this happens, you know, remember we just said it's a hunch, it's a hope. I think what I'm going to hope for is not just that I don't die, but that I land safely on the riverbank. 
and then that should come to me. And the riverbank talks of the waters of March. I think that'll come to me because I've heard the song enough. Does that make sense? It's the end of a strain. It's the joy in your heart. You can think of, you know, a strain is like, um, with, you know, it's not the spaghetti with the colander. It's not that. It, uh, you can think of it like, like the end of a verse of song, right? That kind of a strain that we sing. So it is. It's the end of the strain. It's the end of a strain. It's the joy in your heart. You should have some joy in your flipping heart because you have memorized a good third of this song. Yeah, maybe a fourth. Super long song. Crazy long song. But you're, you're like 20, maybe 30% of the way there. All right. The last thing I want to tell you about this is that the wood of the wind happens. Um, that also raises the melody. So as you see the knot of wood go flying by in the wind, you can, you can also think that it's rising, uh, because the melody does rise right there. But that's another one of those things that the melody will come to you as you sing the song, because you've sung it so many times and heard it so many times. Let's do that together. Here we go. I'll go slowly with you. A stick, a stone, it's the end of the road. It's the rest of a stump, it's a little alone. It's a sliver of glass, it is life, it's the sun. It is night, it is death, it's a trap, it's a gun. Pick it up. The oak when it blooms, the fox in the brush, the knot of the wood, it's the song of a thrush. The wood in the wind, a cliff, a fall, a scratch, a lump. It is nothing at all. It's the wind blowing free. It's the end of a slope. It's a beam. It's a void. It's a hunch. It's a hope. And the riverbank talks of the waters of March. It's the end of a strain. It's the joy in your heart. This is one of the weirdest videos I've ever made. I know that it is, but oftentimes people ask me how to memorize lyrics, and this is my best answer. Other than hearing a song a whole bunch of times, if it's super tricky, this is the way to do it. And you've got to be able to stand, at, you know, after you've done it, to stand with your microphone, with an audience, somehow pick a place in the back of the audience where you're not looking at one person maybe, and then imagine this entire thing. That's the way that I do it. I don't know if it's going to work for everybody, but I mean, how are you going to teach somebody to memorize lyrics? Everybody's probably got their own way. And this is my way. This is how I know how to memorize stuff. Now I did promise an extra challenge at the end of the video. And if you've stuck around this far, way to go. Um, the challenge is for any bass player, drummer, guitar player, animator that wants to be a part of this little project. Now, I have a feeling I'll get submissions from the instrumentalists. I don't know that I'll get any submissions from an animator. I just don't know if anybody watches my videos who animates. So if I don't get, you know, an, and I think that would take a ton of work too. Of course I would give you credit. All of you will get your names in the description of the video. And, um, and I would give, uh, links to all of your stuff. You know, if you've got a SoundCloud or iTunes, uh, record or whatever, if you're an animator, you've got a website, anything, I'll give you all the credit that I can for it. But, um, but yeah, I'm not paying you. So anyway, up to you, but you'll get in a video. There'll be a cool music video made regardless of whether I get animation or not. And if I do get it, I put it all together with this track of me singing the whole song to a click in my ear so that I stay very steady. The oak when it blooms, a fox in the brush, a knot in the wood, the song of a thrush. And it'll be available as an MP3 on my website. So you can go download the MP3 in nice quality and plug it in to your own project. Send it back to me. Only send your part back to me, all right? So if you're the drummer laying down a track on this, all I want from you is your MP3. I don't want a video of you playing. I just want your MP3 or WAV file so that I can paste it all together and make one nice audio track. Got it? All right. Well, I hope you learned something today about memorizing lyrics. I hope you stuck with me till the end, or at least got an idea of how to do this. 
on your own when you're memorizing your own songs. You can be as creative and free as you want with it. You'll always have that in your head. Now, if you don't visit it for a week or two, you'll forget it. You've got to come back to it, at least for a while. You've got to revisit this idea that's living in your imagination. Keep coming back to it so that you don't forget. The best time to come back to it right now is an hour after you watch this video. That gives your mind a chance to forget, but not so long of a time period that you're really going to forget. So challenge yourself to come back an hour after you watch this video and try to say all of those lyrics that we learned together today. Last thing, there are different chord changes used to this song. So I'm going to take the original chord changes where Jobim sings with Elise Hegina, and we will use those changes. I'll put up a little PDF of it right here so that you can also go to my website and get it if you're going to be one of the instrumentalists on this recording. We'll also leave room for the solo break, all right? On the solo break, what the heck? Let's open it to piano players. Piano players, if you want to, to, to play that piano solo, maybe whistle along with it, you can do that too, all right? Just that much though. So if, if you'd like the solo for the break, you know, boop, 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 doo, doo, boop, all of that, go ahead, we'll put it in. That can be your little solo, piano players. Uh, whistle with it if you want to. It's a nice sound with the whistle and the piano on the original track. I absolutely love that. All right, you're on your way. Thanks for watching Amy Nolte Music, and I'll see you next time.